Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and I have a wonderful young pianist with me today. Her name is Laurel Strickland. Laurel, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy being the key word. You're one of the happiest people I think I've met. You've got the best smile. Oh, Not only you, your dad comes in, he's happy. What's your secret? How are you so happy? Happy. How am I so happy? Well, like you said, my dad's happy. I'm happy. I think my whole family just is really happy. <laughs> and then I'm also happy because I'm here. I'm playing music. I just love music. It's what I enjoy doing, and I think I do it the most. And mm. How old are you now? Oh, I'm 16 years 16. old. 16. How long have you been playing the piano? About 11 and a half years. Wow. So you had an early start. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me how you got started in music. Was it your choice, started. or did your parents just... I think my parents wisely decided that I should pick up an instrument and you know it started as you know I'm five I'm playing the piano and it developed into this wonderful thing and now I want to make it my career and I never couldn't imagine my life without it. <laughs> it's, it's amazing and a, a real gift for somebody as young as you to have found what seems to be your life passion. You, you love what you do and you're in fact you're very busy taking classes. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about some of the extra education you're taking for your music. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking a music theory and an ear training class at Bucks County Community College. Oh wonderful, great. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm learning a lot and I'm just excited to you know be developing my skills so I can go even farther. So it sounds like you're ready to make music your career, your life. Mm -hmm. you so tell me what your next steps are, what are your plans are to, to make that dream come true? My next step. So I'm currently working on my audition repertoire and so after I select exactly which schools I'd like to audition for, I'll send in my recordings and get an audition and eventually get into school. So I'm really excited to do that and go and meet lots of new people and learn extraordinary things. I'm just so excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy you're excited. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Now, one of the cool things about this show is the fact that we ask our guests to select from a range of instruments. And Laurel, in this case, for the pieces you're going to be playing, you selected the Seven Foot Cunningham Grand Piano. Tell us why you chose this piano. I chose this piano because as soon as I played it, it was just very responsive, and immediately I knew that it could, I could create the sound that I wanted to. And it has such a range of tones, and you can create so many different moods and really manipulate all the sounds to do exactly what you would like. Oh, wonderful. I can't wait to hear you play this piece. Now, tell us a little bit. I understand you have two pieces you're going to play. Tell us a little bit about the first piece. Uh, the first piece is a Haydn piece. It's the second movement in Haydn Sonata in E minor. and it's just very happy and cheery. <laughs> There's that word again. Very happy. She's great. So this basically is a piece about you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I can't wait to hear you play.
Laurel, what a wonderful performance of the Haydn. This, again, this is a piece that's you. It's really almost like I'm seeing and hearing your personality perfectly reflected. It's like a, a mirror, a musical <laughs> mirror to you. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. So tell us about, you have another piece you're going to perform for us. What's mm -hmm. this going to be? Um, it's a Brahms piece. It's a capriccio in F sharp minor, and it's very deep and very contemplative. And where the Haydn was very light and elegant, now this Brahms really digs, you know, down and it really stirs up all this turmoil. Interesting. Now, uh, my, one of my questions is, what do you do? You have a very sunny personality. How do you approach a piece that is perhaps an opposite personality, something that's very different? How do you, what do you explore? How do you, um, how do you manifest that when it's something that perhaps is not natively the way you are? Mm -hmm. Well, when it's so different, you really have to get in that headspace. You know, it's like I said, it's very deep and very almost frustrated. So you have to kind of get in that mood, you know, and you think of stories, think of colors, and really um, just drive into the mood of the piece. Well, let's listen to your exploration of this wonderful work by Brahms.
What a wonderful performance. Now we have a very special treat. Joining us is Laurel's teacher, Olga Smirnova. Olga, welcome to the show. So wonderful for you to join us. Thank you so much. <laughs> How long have you two been working together? It's been too long. <laughs> it's been, and it's never enough. So over 11 years. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So you've only been working? It has. Has Miss Smirnova been your only teacher this whole time? From the very beginning? That's incredible. So this must be really amazing for you to look back and see such a talented young lady develop really from the very beginning to what she's accomplishing now. <laughs> I, can, I think I can see the secret of your happiness. Now. <laughs> I see you both have the same smile. So Olga, how, what do you try to instill? How are you able to instill such a joy of music in your student like this? You cannot teach a student how to play music. You teach them how to feel the music and create that beautiful sound coming out of these incredible keys. And Laurel's fingers, her ability to listen, to learn, and get that sound out, what we want, she just did it so well, and I think she's going to do much better than that in her future. And I really, really think she's going to be an amazing piano performer in the future. Laurel, could you share, I know your teacher's right there, but could you share some of your <laughs> thoughts in terms of what you've, what you've gained and learned from, from your teacher? Um, like you said, um, just the feel for the music and really a joy and, you know, again, happiness. <laughs> um, just really loving it. And in addition to loving it, knowing how to create what you love, knowing how to create exactly what sound you want out of the keys. Mm. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the the teacher-student relationship in music is a very, very strong one, very close one. And when it works, it's like having a second mother, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you for all your help and work for, for, for working with Laurel. And Laurel, thank you for performing so beautifully. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for spending time with us. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new episodes. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.